CIDER stands for Cooperative Institute for Dynamic Earth Research. So CIDER is a collaborative institute without walls, uh, which brings together solid earth geoscientists across generations and across disciplines uh, in order to together help improve our understanding of the Earth's present dynamics and its past history. One of the centerpieces of CIDER is a summer program which lasts four to six weeks and, um, and consists of uh, one part which is a tutorial part for graduate students and postdocs and then followed by two weeks in which uh, the students get together in groups with faculty, with more senior scientists, um, to work to start doing research on some multidisciplinary topics that have been defined during the two weeks of lectures. Certainly one of the issues that CIDR accomplishes is in fact defining major challenges that require a variety of disciplines to contribute to. And so, you know, each of us in our own way will contribute to problems uh, within the spheres of our own influence and expertise. And what CIDR does is it puts together a, a variety of different people with different perspectives, uh, different points of view and different understandings to really identify what are the major stumbling blocks, obstacles for making progress on important questions and then really help sharpen and focus the problems that we're actually trying to solve. I think the tools people develop at CIDR are two types. One is some level of self-confidence that even though something is not in your field, it's approachable and understandable and that you're comfortable with reaching out to people in those fields and engaging in a discussion and some research. Uh, the second thing is a deeper appreciation about your own science, that by explaining it to people in other fields and working with people in other fields, you learn to better understand what you do. Typically when we teach a class, there's a lecturer and then there's a group of students. At CIDR we have many people sitting in the room who have expertise in the same topic that is being discussed. And so that means there's an active and quite vibrant discussion about the material. We conduct our summer programs either at KITP in Santa Barbara or at UC Berkeley. So the KITP is the Kavli Institute for Theoretical Physics uh, here at the campus of University of California, Santa Barbara. Our main goal is bringing scientists together from all over the world, about half of them from outside the U.S., for prolonged periods of interaction. So what CIDR has always been doing here and every other summer for many years is bringing together researchers to then explain to younger graduate students the impact of, of what's happening within the field. My first CIDR was in 2011 at UC Berkeley and then uh, I've participated three times since then. The last two times were here at UC Santa Barbara uh, after I moved here as a faculty member. I think CIDR has been very influential in our community uh, because it's focused on young scientists, it's focused on graduate students and postdocs primarily, and then senior participants such as myself come along to give lectures. But I have to say that I have learned so much uh, attending CIDR because I learn about all the work that's being done in related disciplines that I might not follow in the literature. So CIDR is a great melting pot, really, uh, because you have quite senior scientists, quite junior scientists. Um, hopefully it breaks down any barriers, you know, any uh, intimidation that junior scientists might feel um, in terms of talking to a senior colleague, uh, because everybody's together. And, um, and I think it, it really succeeds quite well in, in opening up those lines of communication. CIDR's greatest legacy is that it has trained young scientists in how to do collaborative cross-disciplinary research. I can recognize a student who went to CIDR. They think differently, they work differently, they work across disciplines, they have international collaborations, and they're not shy to move in new research directions. I think one of the great accomplishments of CIDR has been the training of a really a generation of young scientists that are interested in pursuing interdisciplinary research. They're more comfortable with those ideas, they're more comfortable with crossing disciplinary boundaries to pursue important problems, and I think this has been probably one of the major outcomes of the CIDR program so far.